For those of you that do not think verticillium wilt can be cured in a tree, we are working on a maple tree in Alexandria, Minnesota that was diagnosed with verticillium wilt from the University of Minnesota after they tested the soil. And I want you to look at it right now. It is behind me. Now this is a really old maple. As you can see, one side of it has some dieback, which we knew that would happen. We're gonna have a local tree service come in, trim off that dead. But what's interesting is that the leaf canopy is so full and the leaves are so far ahead of every other maple around. What you're seeing behind me is the leaf canopy of this tree. That is absolutely gorgeous. So what we have done with our treatment is made this tree feel so good by cleaning up the sap conducting tissue, getting rid of the fungus and pathogens that are normally translocating up into the tree from the soil around it, because that's where the verticillium will is, it's in the roots. And you see the end result of us cleaning that tree up and making it healthy.